Spring break forever. My past hello, like a You're in a magic place, y'all. You can change who you are, y'all. Bikinis and big booties, y'all. That's what life is about. Who are you? My name's Aileen. Why are you here? I saw y'all in there. They like nice people. Come on, y'all. Why acting suspicious? And here we have Spring Breakers. Spring Breakers is a movie that came out last year in 2012, but it was released worldwide in 2013. I was really looking forward to this movie. It's directed by Harmony Korine, starring Vanessa Hudgens, Selena Gomez, Ashley Benson, and one more that I can't remember her name. I know it's Harmony Korine, the director of the movie's wife, but... Forget about that, but I can't remember her name, sorry. If, if uh, you remember, please put it in the comments below. Now, Spring Breakers is a movie that I knew, like, all, I only knew a very little, but it was, all I knew was that these four girls, they want, they were tired of seeing the same thing every day. They wanted to go um, out in Miami, Florida, and go party it up, like the MTV, uh, MTV Spring Break, you know, stuff like that. And they just want to get out and go on a little trip for a little bit and then come back home, you know, simple. They're just tired of seeing the same thing. They just want to go party for a little bit and live, like, live life on their own, um, world you know like how they see it so spring breakers here's what i think spring breakers is a scary movie now you're probably wondering what do you mean by a scary movie it's not a horror movie what i mean by is that these girls what they do and what world they go in is it's dirty gritty disgusting and you're just like oh my god what if i had a daughter and she was doing this and the things that they do in this film all the drugs and booze that they do harmony Crane is definitely a visual director and there's really um, funny colors and stuff and one creative thing that i thought was that each scene when a new scene came up, all you hear is the noise of a gun, like a ch -ch -ch noise, and then sometimes it would fire. And I thought that was very creative. It did get annoying at times because it did it a lot, but I um, it definitely kind of went over my head after a little bit. But I thought that was very creative and a cool addition to it. But there is tons of funny colors in this whole movie. Um, Harmony Korine, I love the way he directs. This is actually the like I've only seen clips of um, kids. I know he didn't direct that, but he wrote the script, I think. But his directing style is really cool to me, and I liked um, how he did Spring Breakers. And the colors in the movie were really cool and added to the darkness tone of this film. Now, Vanessa Hudgens, I don't know, because she acted too well as a douche, and so I'm really afraid if she's like that in real life, because she is, oh my god. Spring Breakers, though, Selena Gomez is the good girl. This is not spoiling, but she gets kicked out, like, right away in the movie. Like, they go on party, but then she starts whining, and she's like, I don't want to live this lifestyle. This is not what I signed up for. So she gets booted off right away. Then there's three girls left, and now you have your movie. The movie really starts off is that, you know, it's very gritty, and they're in these, these nasty rooms, and they're living in disgusting places. And Selena Gomez, you know, is a very church girl. She prays all the time. And the three others, Ashley Benson, Vanessa Hutchins, the one I can't remember her name of, Harmony Crin's wife, um, they all see the same thing. They're tired of it, and they're very weird people, and they're just like, let's just go on spring break. And so they look at how much money they have. They don't have enough money, so they go rob a chicken shack, and they get enough money to go to Miami, Florida, and go party it up. Now... James Franco performance. I bet everyone's been waiting for me to cover this. James Franco performance was phenomenal. I don't know what people are talking about saying that, oh, he was annoying and everything. I think people are going to be quoting James Franco for a long time. Um, I loved how he said spring break forever. Like, the, the, his um, accent that he used, his tone was actually really good. And I heard that he actually hanged out with, like, real thugs. Like, kind of real thugs, you know, to get into the role. And I heard he stayed in the role, like, all the time and I really respect him for that he's definitely a great actor and I thought his role was great Selena Gomez like I said got kicked out pretty fast but the portion that she was in she wasn't that bad Ashley Benson you know she was decent I know her from Pretty Little Liars I think she, that's where she's from she was okay but um my favorite uh, character in the film was definitely James Franco character Alien he supposedly says he's from another planet but I definitely really did like Spring Breakers. I definitely want to buy this on Blu-ray. I'm probably like the only person that really highly enjoyed this film from the reviews that I've seen. But definitely, um, these girls, man, what they go through is just so crazy and so powerful. In the ending of this movie, I kind of did predict and I kind of thought they would do something like that. So it wasn't like a <gasps> shock to me. But um, comment below and let me know. Don't spoil in the comments, but tell me if you were shocked at the end of this movie. Definitely, I really did enjoy Spring Breakers. I give Spring Breakers a 7 out of 10. It wasn't the greatest movie ever, but I did enjoy it, and I will go check it out on Blu-ray when it comes out in July. This is all I gotta say. It's Movie Madness Review, signing out.